Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're connecting at in the world. My name is Master Paul, and I'm honored to be connecting with you today. Today is March 21. And it is the spring solstice, and it's a very special day. I, I probably should have done a live stream on this, but in actuality, um, I'm not skilled and educated in, in, a, in a professional manner that I could offer any guidance and wisdom on this special day. What I've chosen for today's subject matter is soul orders. What is soul orders? And how can we use them to maintain optimal health, optimal wellness, optimal finances, even a healthy business? Soul orders are amazing something that was released to us through my teacher Master Shah and it's actually in his book the book is called the power of soul so I think you will enjoy the information that I'll be sharing with you today uh, given that it is the first day of spring <clears throat> I have seen quite a few pictures showing up on Facebook people in their spring clothes uh, out there trying to go hiking and being outdoors uh, spending more time with the kids, getting wet. We're doing a lot of fun things that we all wait for. I'm blessed, having lived in Hawaii, that it's uh, outdoor temperature almost all the time. Uh, but I do feel for all of those that are in very, very cold zones. And, and I'm very grateful that I have been delivered to a warm zone. I'm not exactly what I'd call overweight. Don't have a whole lot of extra padding on this little body. so. I kind of like the warm weather, so I'm grateful to be in that kind of a zone. But spring is so awesome. Yesterday I did go for a little mountain hike. Haven't done one of those in months, which is very sad. We have some beautiful mountains here, and I was blessed uh, to be uh, to be at the top of the mountain by the time I got there, and it was truly remarkable the uh, what nature gives us, especially as we move into springtime. <clears throat> and so uh, we'll pause for a moment and welcome all those that are coming online here. And so welcome Karen Lockwood, Aloha CJ, welcome Dana, welcome Scott, Aloha Kristen, hi Ben, hi Alicia, welcome Rianne, welcome Carol, and welcome Petra, hi Elizabeth, welcome Kathy Campbell, and Sharon Dodd. Welcome Zilke and Lisa Marie. Welcome, welcome, welcome Janet. Welcome Linda. And as more people are tuning in, of course. Thank you, by the way, for hitting the share button. Uh, Kristen works uh, very hard, you know, putting these on groups. Uh, but sometimes the the Facebook uh, Facebook thinks she's being too efficient, so not all the groups are able to see some of the information because they they shut her down because she's too efficient. So all of your sharing makes a big difference. Aloha, Michelle. I saw the picture of your 72-year-old mother. Very, very beautiful picture. I'm very blessed to have such a beautiful mom. And so uh, thank you so much, everybody, for coming. Welcome, Nirma. So today, as we talked about, is on the subject of soul orders. And um, when I was checking in today as to what do I offer, what wisdom, what teaching, what blessing do I offer today, uh, what I received was, you know, share something uh, from Master Shah's books that people can use for bringing blessings to themselves. We're being taught uh, to not use the word healing so much, but when it comes to self-healing, um, that's very, very uh, fair to say that because I'm not saying I'm doing the healing. I'm offering wisdom and teachings for you to provide self-healing for yourself. And that's the value of the soul order. So it's going to be a very, very powerful practice. Let's go ahead and connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Today I am at Master Shah's Tao Healing Center. And so the calligraphy behind me is uh, Ling, Ling Guang, soul light. Ling means soul, Guang means light, Ling Guang. So you can kind of see it. It's uh, portion, proportionate anyway. And so we're getting blessed by this calligraphy in this room. 
<clears throat> so let's place our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position, which is much like a prayer. Uh, we drop the left hand in front of our heart center, leaving the right hand gently pointed upward. For all those that are listening on podcast, this is what's called a hand mudra. And again, we start like a prayer position in front of the heart center, dropping the left hand in front of the heart center, the right hand gently pointed towards heaven. And we chant the source song of love, peace, and harmony, which carries a frequency to bring love, peace, and harmony to all souls. And so we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us. We invite all beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, shamans, and Buddhas and Bodhisattvas that are all serving the planet of the light side, we invite them to join us. We invite our ancestors and our individual heavens teams to please be present. So let us chant together. For anyone that's new, let us close your eyes, receive the blessings. <coughs> I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join arts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. One more time. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in herling. Oh, I turn and lay. Only hearing wrong. Her musher shung. Shung I ping on a se. Shung I ping on a se. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Huh? How, how, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, I want to acknowledge a few more people that came on. So welcome um, Susan, welcome Kristen Strachan, Aloha Annette Marie Walsh, Aloha Stephanie, uh, and Janet, good to see you Janet, and welcome Efrosini. And thank you all for hitting the share button, I appreciate that as well. For those, and welcome Raven, for those that are new, um, I am a student, a master teacher of Master Shah, and I have been um, paying attention to this master teacher's wisdom for about eight years. He teaches soul, the power of soul, how soul can bring transformation to all areas of our life. He teaches us uh, that humanity has forgotten soul. They don't really understand what it is, how to connect to it, and the power of our own soul to bring tremendous shift and blessings into our life. And so um, he has quite a few one-sentence secrets, but in relation to soul, the first one is soul is the boss. The second one is uh, heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. And 
soul has soul standing. What does that mean? That means that uh, the person next to you's soul standing could be higher or lower than yours. They might be a vagrant on the street, but they could have a higher soul standing. You look at Eckhart Tolle, a very, very wise being. Uh, but he was living literally on a park bench for years uh, because he was lost but his soul standing was actually much higher than all those that walked by him. So we must remember to never have assumptions or presumptions that someone's soul standing is higher or lower than ours. It's not about a competition, but soul standing is very relevant in the teaching I'm going to offer today called Soul Orders. Other one sentence secrets about the soul is um, when I say the soul is the boss, what that means is that uh, soul is above our heart, our mind, and the energy and matter. That was the subject of yesterday's wisdom teaching and sharing. So if you miss that on podcast or on Facebook, on Facebook you just go to the archive uh, link listed above this video and you can watch that. Or just scroll down my, my Facebook page, you'll see it just a few images down. Um, on podcast, same thing, just go scroll back a little bit. So by the way, I am promoting podcasts, so if you haven't found me, you can go to my website, asoulhealer.com, and click on my blog. My blog is called Soul Food. I thought that was kind of cute. And uh, from there, you can actually listen to the podcast uh, of these Facebook feeds. And uh, very soon I'll be posting my, my energy center practices on there. I do energy center practices um, three days a week. And so those will be posted on there as well. And if you um, have any kind of an app on your phone, you can literally uh, tell it, uh, please let me know when, when uh, Master Paul loads one of these and then you'll be made aware of it and you can listen to it at your own leisure instead of always having to be fully present at this time, which might be perfect for a lot of you, but some of it might be difficult. So aloha Karen, welcome. Aloha Christine Barker and aloha anybody else. If I did not mention your name, please forgive me. I, I don't see all the names pop up sometimes. <clears throat> and so you just heard what was called a soul song. A soul song is a song that our souls resonate with. It's called the soul song of love, peace and harmony. The soul has its own language. The soul can actually speak to other souls. Uh, soul can have emotions. So there's so many aspects and power associated with the soul. I did a teaching on that, uh, understanding the nature of the soul, about two weeks ago. It was very, very powerful teaching. And thank you, Kristen, for posting the iTunes information on my uh, podcast called The Tao of Spiritual Awakening. <clears throat> it's uh, the podcast nowadays, you literally got to. Uh, type in the entire name to, to locate it. But um, I always appreciate your guys' support there. So today's teaching is on soul orders. Now I'll be using uh, this book from Master Shaw. It's called The Power of Soul. When this book came out, he referred to it as, as a, um, oh, what's the word he called it? Um, I can't think of the exact word, but basically it's a it's a foundation book. It's one of the most important ones that, out of his 21 books that he's created. And so um, it's all things soul. It helps you to understand why you're here, what your purpose in life is, how you can access your soul, what you can do to further open up uh, your communication with your soul. There is so much wisdom in this book, it'll keep you busy for years. It is so full uh, of the, the highest level spiritual wisdom that we're so blessed to receive from a very high level being. Uh, so it's called The Power of Soul. Um, and I'm going to be reading today from page 81. This is the fourth chapter in there. <clears throat> and it's called Soul Orders. And so uh, I'm going to repeat some of the rules so that you're, everybody's clear on the rules because I never know when somebody's coming in to watch this, if they're watching their kids, if they're not fully present. So I'm going to repeat this part multiple times. So soul orders. There is a rule. You only give soul orders to yourself. Never give it to anybody else. You can teach your children, your loved ones, to give themselves soul orders. That's okay. You teach them. But do not give soul orders to somebody else. That's the first rule. One of the reasons why has to do with soul standing. I just mentioned that as one of the soul secrets. Soul standing is where does your soul sit, not only in your body, but in your Akashic records? Where does your soul sit in relation to 
angels, in relation to Jesus, in relation to other people on the planet. And everybody has <coughs> a soul standing. In the spiritual realm, there is light side, there is dark side. So um, you do not want to give a soul order for somebody else to have, a, 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 let's say, for them to have a healing experience. Don't go there because their soul standing might be higher or they may have more uh, darkness going on than you can deal with. So better to just pay attention to that teaching only give soul orders to self. All right. So I'm going to read this first part of this. And it starts out by saying, uh, people understand an order. In ancient China, when an emperor gave an order, Aloha Irma, uh, in, in ancient China, when an emperor gave an order, every subject had to obey. In your family, when your young children do something wrong, you tell them, stop, don't do that. That's a form of an order. Uh, when you work in an organization, there's the chief officer, and all the subordinates do what the chief officer says. So these are examples of orders. In this chapter, I'm introducing a new uh, soul secret and wisdom that has never been released before. And that's true. These secrets and wisdoms are about soul orders for self-healing, preventing sickness, rejuvenating yourself, transforming your own life blockages and enlightening your life. This is the first time that this wisdom has been released and Master Shah received this from the Source, the Divine. Uh, what soul orders are and how to give them. A soul order is exactly that. It is an order given by the soul to do something that is a good service such as self-healing or prevention of sickness, rejuvenation, etc. A soul order can be given by your body soul. A soul order can be given by any of your inner souls, including the souls of your systems, organs, cells, cell units, DNA, and RNA. This requires me to offer a little additional teaching for those that are new, uh, either on Facebook uh, or on podcast. So everybody agrees that there's a soul. If you're on the spiritual journey, you know you have a soul. No question about that. A reasonable amount of people believe that animals have souls, trees maybe have souls. Okay, but Master Shah shares that everyone and everything is made of our original creator. Doesn't matter how small that speck of energy or matter is, doesn't matter if it's a table or a chair, which is made out of energy and matter, everything has source creator in it. It has spirit of creator in it. Therefore, everything has soul. And so this might be a new teaching for some of you. But given that understanding, given the, the previous mention of everything has a soul standing, so what would that mean? If in fact your brain has a soul, which it does, because it has divine consciousness, every speck of energy, every speck of matter carries divine consciousness, so your brain has a soul, your heart has a soul, your liver, your kidneys, your organs, your cells have souls. And so my soul standing might be uh, a low, definitely is lower than Master Shah, definitely is lower than his other teachers, and it might be a little higher than yours. And that's not ego, that's just kind of a common sense way of seeing things. And same thing for you in your body. Your brain has a lower soul standing than your body soul. Your heart is actually second in charge in your body. Your heart soul is the highest soul in your body beside your body soul. Okay? And so, uh, what is the, when, when uh, you're in a hospital, and uh, not when you're in there, when somebody, somebody is in a hospital and um, their life stops, what the doctor puts down for cause of death, heart stoppage. The heart is very, very pertinent to our life. And therefore, it has a direct association to um, soul standing. Aloha Katie, Aloha Raul, and Angel Heart, welcome, welcome uh, Irma, and everybody else that I haven't mentioned, and Marie Grant, welcome. So, soul standing. When we do soul orders, what in essence we are doing is we're giving an order from the higher to the lower, and we're telling it what to do. Imagine you telling your children, go clean up your room. They know you're the boss. They know if they don't do it, something's going to happen. So you have the soul standing to give the soul order. And in doing so, you can create some significant results. 
what you chant is what you become. What you visualize is what comes to fruition. And so when you employ this wisdom along with a forgiveness practice, you could do significant self-healing. <clears throat> so, an example. Dear the soul of my back. Okay, so a soul order can be given for self-healing. Say, for example, you have back pain. The back has a soul. The soul of your back can give an order to heal your back. Think about that. The soul of your back can give an order to your back to heal itself. The soul of your knees can give an order to your knees to heal itself. So an example, how do you do this? Uh, I'm going to do this like multiple times, but you want to get used to the structure of a soul order. So here's an example. You're the soul of my back. I love you. Remember, we always do this with love, gratitude. I honor you. I appreciate you. You have kept me straight and erect. You have allowed me to move through life and accomplish the task I need to accomplish. I'm very grateful for your service. If you, if you uh, were, were out of function, I could be quite miserable. I'm so grateful for you. You have the power to send an order to heal my back. Now, the only reason you would send an order to heal your back is if you had pain in your back. You could, of course, do a precursory blessing, but most people don't think about it until they're suffering. So if we have pain in our back, what do most of us say? Oh, I have a bad back. I have an aching back. My back is aching. We're, what kind of message are we sending to our back, right? Not a very blessed message. We want to send our back a message of love. Dear the soul of my back, I love you. I'm very grateful for your unconditional service. You have done so much to support me this whole time. So send it love, send it gratitude. And then you say to the soul of your back, you have the power to send an order to heal my back. So you're telling the soul of your back, you have the power to send an order to heal my back. The order is, soul of my back orders my back to heal. So repeat. Soul of my back orders my back to heal. You could say spine. Soul of my spine orders my spine to heal. Soul of my spine orders my spine to heal. So this is how you would do a soul order. And this is called activating. So you connect to it. You explain how much grateful you are, your love and gratitude. You tell it, you have the power to give an order to heal me. Do a great job. Soul of my back. Uh, soul of my back orders my back to heal. Soul of my back orders. It's a soul order. Orders my back to heal. So that order word is very important. This soul orders this result. This soul orders this result. Okay? So... Always when you do these practices, we're going through them one by one and we're not spending as much time as necessary. We'll do one a little later on for long enough, okay? But um, uh, when you do any particular practice on your own, minimum three to five minutes, okay? You want better results? Do it longer. Now, before we move forward, will employ some additional wisdom and teachings that has been out there in all of the great wisdom and teachings for all time. Beloved Krishna brought wisdom and teachings. Uh, all of the great uh, predecessors brought great wisdom and teachings that all have two main subject matters that run through all of the true teachings, love and forgiveness. And so when we employ that prior to a soul order, we can have significant, significant value. And so how do you do this? You connect with love first, and then you do forgiveness. Okay? So, example. Let's stay with the back. Dear the soul of my back, I love you. Please forgive me for this whole life of complaining about you and the unpleasantness that I have been feeling. I deeply apologize for my complaining. I recognize now that I'm offering you a, a, a very 
poor message. I'm not loving you and offering gratitude. You know, think about it. Would you say to him, I have a bad kid. Hey, bad kid, come here. You don't talk to your children like that. This is part of you. Love and forgiveness. I love you, my back. Please forgive me for my complaining. I will do better. I will catch myself and continue to offer you more and more gratitude for your incredible service to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the other part of that is the recognition of the teachings that run through Master Shah's, all of his teachings, that soul is the carrier of our uh, spiritual virtue and spiritual debt. So if we have a suffering, the baseline teaching is that on the soul level, we are carrying forth a spiritual debt, and that's reflected on our physical uh, body. If you, so if you have uh, harmed, or if you if your ancestors have harmed people's spines or backs, I did a soul reading once, for a student and they were you, you ever seen the pictures of the viking ships when they have the 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 slaves that are in there rowing row two or three in a row row um i i was shown an image where a person was the the one of the uh people with the whips making everybody work hard and so all of that sore back pain okay and that was one of the uh, root causes of their um blockages and so when we do forgiveness we ask the soul of our body part organ or system for forgiveness for communicating uh, with a lack of love and a lack of gratitude that's the first part the second part of the forgiveness is to ask forgiveness for bringing any form of harm or suffering to any souls and we ask on, on behalf of our ancestors dear the soul of, of uh, any souls that I or my ancestors have harmed especially for uh, harming your back, your spine, any of the muscles in your back. I am deeply, deeply regretful. I know that I, I or my ancestors may have made some significant mistakes. We may have really, really, really made some wrong mistakes and brought significant harm to you. I truly cannot bow down enough in request for forgiveness. I have learned my lessons. I wish to serve humanity, to help people. I no longer wish to bring any form of suffering to anybody. I humbly ask for your forgiveness. So what this does is as you bring soul power into it, you have the highest propensity of success because you've taken the time to connect at the level of soul and ask for forgiveness. There will be souls that fill your heart uh, and, and they will forgive and they will release the, the blockages that they have been reminding you with. Okay, And so when you do this before a soul order, you could have far superior results. So let's move on to a different example. Uh, ra raise your hands. Who, who has um, blockages in their intestinal system? Could be stomach pain, intestinal blockages, constipation, uh, cramping, okay? Most of us have had it once in a while, and I would say about 20% of, of watching right now have some of it going on, okay? I'm going to do one for the digestive system, okay? And so... Uh, this is another example for the digestive system. You give a soul order. So you would say, Dear the soul of my digestive system, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. You are the reason I am able to have uh, um, nourishment. You break down all of the food I put in my body, sometimes not so good food. You turn it into energy and nourishment. And all I've done is said unpleasant things about you. I am so sorry. Please, please, please forgive me. I will do better. Continue. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you, if we have sold you tainted food that caused you to suffer digestive problems, if we have... Uh, uh, made wrong thoughts, words, or actions where you suffered in your digestive system. I deeply, deeply apologize. Please forgive me. I'm very, very grateful. I, I will not make the same mistakes again. I will bring health and happiness to others as I move forward. Please forgive me. Very simple. It doesn't have to be, you know, but the authenticity is always what is most important. And then we do the soul order. So repeat after me. Soul of my digestive system, 
orders my digestive system to heal. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Continue three more times. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Soul of my digestive system orders my digestive system to heal. Okay, you starting to get the hang of it? And so again, always do this for a minimum of three to five minutes. Longer is always better. You do not have to do it out loud. You're more than welcome to do it silently. You could be at work and you have, uh, you have a headache. You may have uh, lower back pain. You could have digestive system imbalances. You just place your palms. Remember, body power. Um, and I'll teach you one for, for headache, just so you know. Um, this is a, a body power position, so if you have too, your headache, that means you have too much energy in your head. You need to move the energy. And so you can put your palm, top of your palm, above your head, about three to four inches away. You put your other palm directly out from your belly button, about a foot away, okay? So one palm over your head, about three to four inches, the other palm about a foot away, and the palm is facing your belly button. What this does is it's called moving the um, the uh, let me let me get the correct words that are in the books. Uh, high density to low density. You have a high density of energy up here. You want to move it uh, down. You want to reduce the density of the energy. Okay, and, and so you can do that. You put just for a headache. You would do this body power, for example, and you would say, "Dear the soul of my head, you have the ability to release this headache. I'm so grateful for all your service." Do a great job. Do a quick forgiveness practice for your headache. And then you would put your uh, hands in these positions. And you would say, soul of my head orders my head to release and bring healing to this headache. And you keep repeating, okay? And you can do that silently. While you're, if this happened at work, you can do it while you're at work with your eyes closed. If your eyes are closed, people aren't going to bother you, okay? Um, that's an example, and that's employing body power with soul power and a forgiveness practice all in one. You'd be very surprised. You do that for five minutes? Oh my goodness, your headache could completely be gone. I've seen people just do it with their hand power alone, nothing else, just the hand power, and, and the headache gone because we're moving the high density to low density. Visually speaking, it's much like opening a window in a house that has all the houses on fire and all the, all the smoke rises to the top. You open the window, high density goes out the window to low density. Same kind of a concept, okay? Thank you, Master Shah, for bringing these very simple uh, wisdom and teachings to us. And so welcome, Raven. <coughs> uh, welcome, Judas. Welcome, Pat. And anybody else that I, I have not mentioned, welcome. So let's move forward now with another example. Who has sore knees? Okay, repeat. Dear the soul of my knees, I love you. Please forgive me all the times I've complained. Ah, oh, I hate my knees. I have bad knees. How many of you have said that? I have bad knees. Okay, we go back to the kid example. I have a bad kid. I have a bad kid. What if your kid hears that one time? That will taint them for life. Would you ever say that about your kid? No. Why would you say that about something that is a part of you? Okay? Everything has a soul. Every soul's purpose is to serve. Um, and a souls, all souls carry message. The original message of every soul is love. Love is in every speck of energy, every matter, every organ, every system. So the original uh, message is love. If we say, I have a bad knee, what are we doing to that original message? Are we helping ourselves to, to bring balance into our life, to maintain optimal health? Very unlikely. So be conscious 
of the love. Dear the soul of my knees, I love you. Thank you. Please forgive me for saying that I have bad knees. I will not say that again. If I do, I will ask forgiveness. I have good, healthy knees. They're getting stronger and healthier every time. Thank you, my knees, for blessing me and helping me to self-heal my knees. Okay? Soul order. Soul of my knees orders my knees to heal. Soul of my knees orders my knees to heal. Now, you could do body power with this as well, right? What if you have extra pain in your knees? What happened up here with the head? High density to low density, same thing. One hand over your knee, three to four inches. The other hand, uh, about a foot in front of your belly button. What does that do? That moves the excess energy in your knees to an area that always needs more energy, the center of your body. Your belly needs always needs more energy. Okay, And so you're moving it around. If you have blockages in the abdominal area, you just place both hands there, one over the other. And uh, uh, you can do, bring balance through soul power as well. Okay, Because where you put your hands, energy flows. Where you put your hands is where healing goes. So any soul of your system organs, cells, DNA, RNA can give a soul order. So to repeat the book, somebody asked a minute ago, is The Power of Soul. That's the name of the book, The Power of Soul by Dr. Ji Gong Sha. You go to, if you go to Amazon, just type in the, pow the Power of Soul, you will definitely see it pop up. And by the way, you can get almost all of Master Shaw's books very affordably if you go to the used part of Amazon. So when they pull up books, they always show you the new books. Just look around, you'll see a choice for used ones. Used ones are very, very affordable. Uh, and and uh, nothing wrong with them. Sometimes you're blessed. Take a look at this book. I just picked this up today. This one, this is Master Shaw's original um, symbol. This is a symbol that that is beyond extraordinary. This book landed on our doorstep. Uh, somebody had returned it because they were moving, and I don't think they knew this was in there. This book, uh, two, three, four years from now, when people actually understand the, who Master Shah is and the power that he's bringing to serve humanity, this, will, this one book could be worth easily $5,000 because it has one of his original um, signatures in it. It's just extraordinary. So sometimes people buy a used book off Amazon and they find a signature in it or a blessing in it, uh, and, and they're, they're clueless as to what they have. But it, that makes the power of this book just beyond extraordinary. Got so excited, I lost my page. Now I've got to find it again. Okay. So, what did I say about soul standing? So that means that your body soul is in charge of your heart soul. Your heart soul is in charge of your organs and systems and everything beneath it. Your liver soul could be in charge of all of the RNA, DNA, and cells inside your liver, and so forth, okay? So it, everything has a soul standing. Let's say you have liver problems, hepatitis A, B, or C. Soul of my liver, dear the soul of my liver, I love you. You can repeat the process, and then you'd give an order. Uh, my liver soul orders my liver to heal the RNA, DNA, bring balance. All right. Huh, that's the next one. Soul of my liver orders my liver to heal. Soul of my liver orders my liver to heal. I'm going to move on because we're going to, there's actually, we're going to expand this in just a minute to other areas of your life. Um, you could say in this example, soul of my kidney, DNA, and RNA orders my kidney, DNA, and RNA to heal. Why not? You could say that. Master Shah teaches that the soul orders uh, must be kept to self. So some of you came in late. I'm going to repeat now. Soul orders are only for self. You do not ever offer a soul order to anybody else. You do not say to the soul of your kid, my soul orders your soul to heal. Don't do that. Okay? You only do soul orders to self. Raven, the answer is no. You do not send healing in this way to someone at a long distance. There are many other ways you can accomplish it, but this is not one of the ways. This is specifically and only for self-healing, okay? 
Um, there are many other ways. I've, I've talked about them in previous live streams. Uh, many, many other ways, but this is not one of them, okay? All right. So, a soul order, this is, now I'm reading Master Shaw now, a soul order can be used for healing. It can also be used for preventing sickness. Think about that. I, I've used this a lot, guys, I gotta tell you. Um, sometimes I feel a little stuff in the throat here, a little sinus activity, when you just know something's kind of lingering and it wants to grab on, instantly. Every treasure I've ever received, please turn on. I, I grab a book, you know, it doesn't matter because the books, you don't even have to read them, you just put them on, you know, please offer blessings. I do, I do a, a forgiveness practice and then I say, um, soul order, my body soul prevents sickness. Soul order, and I'll read you the exact part. But I've done this, and some, you know, and I'm driving on the road or whenever I notice it, and I'll chant it three, four, five minutes, and I'll get sidetracked because the phone will ring or a text will come in or something like that. But I tell you, it works again and again and again. It's amazing how often it works. If it, if it keeps coming on, do it more. Okay. So how can we give a soul order for preventing sickness? It's not as difficult as all. All you have to do, if you feel like you're coming down with a cold, give the following soul order. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to prevent a cold. Soul of my, everybody repeat. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to prevent a cold. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to prevent a cold. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to prevent a cold. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to prevent a cold. Now I want you to really drive this home so that you can teach your children and the people you care about, okay? This is so important because, you know, the little three, four, five, six-year-olds, they're just so helpless when it comes to feeling sick. You know, they, they, they just, they tell you the truth. They're just like, I don't feel good. Okay, we're going to do a soul order. What's that, mom? Well, it's something that you can tell your soul to help you to heal. We're going to do it together, okay? And you have fun with it. And you do, you teach them love. I love my body. Love my lungs. I'm so grateful for your service. You have the ability to all my organs and systems come together and heal this. Make sure the cold doesn't come. And you do a forgiveness practice. Very gentle, simple one. And then you teach your child. Repeat after me. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to heal me and prevent this cold. And you just keep repeating. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to heal me and prevent me from catching a cold. Now you can play with this one, do it five or ten minutes. Imagine doing this with your children in the form of a song. Soul of my lungs orders my lungs to prevent a cold. Soul of my lungs. Kids love singing, okay? and you're teaching them a lifelong skill that could help them tremendously, save you a fortune in bills, and it works. It's a beautiful thing. You're teaching them love, you're teaching them forgiveness, you're teaching them about soul, and you're teaching them how they can self-heal. So uh, it's important to spread this kind of wisdom because it's not meant to sit in a book. It's not meant to just land on one person's ears and stop there. Again, three to five minutes each time you do it. How long do you practice? Right, three to five minutes. Longer is always better. Okay, now who's in charge of your heart soul? Ah, some of you forgot already, some of you are not sure. Your body soul is in charge of your heart soul. Okay, so what if you have heart problems? You could ask your heart to heal your heart. You can ask your heart soul to heal your heart. But your body soul carries more power. Your body soul carries the power of all of its lifetimes. Okay? So your body soul carries tremendous power. Also, if you happen to have uh, uh, followed any of, of Master Shah's um, teachings or picked up any of his books, you'll know that he puts transmissions into these books. And the transmissions, uh, when you read them, literally transmit to your soul light balls. 
those light bulbs stay with your soul forever. And it's like, it's like you were a one watt light bulb and every time you download a transmission from one of his books, you become a two, three, ten, twenty, a hundred watt light bulb, a thousand watt light bulb. It's the same soul, but you just receive transmissions for more light, for more love, more forgiveness, more compassion. These are the kinds of transmissions that are in his books. And so when you ask your body soul to offer a blessing to another part of your body, it's always going to be higher. All right. Now, we're going to take it one step higher. A lot of this is bringing the teachings that I've already taught, but putting them all together. So, to repeat, always send your organ or system love first. Ask for forgiveness for saying something negative to it. And also ask for forgiveness to all the souls that you or your ancestors may have harmed in such a way where it brought this form of suffering to you. Okay, those are the three basic steps. Um, just a minute, Raven, I'll cover that in a second. <clears throat> and so the next step is, since everyone and everything has a soul, and I comprehend that my, uh, my body soul has a higher soul standing than other parts of my body, then what has a higher soul standing than my body soul? Right? What? Jesus does, right? Okay. Dear the soul of Jesus, I love you. Would you please come? Buddha have a higher soul standing than our body soul? Dear the soul of Buddha, I love you. Could you please come? Dear the soul of the sun, Mother Earth, I love you. Could you please come? I am going to do a practice to prevent sickness. I would be honored if you would offer your blessings at the same time. So now we're in, in bringing as much power to the subject matter that we can. The results become exponential in their return. I mean, you have to hear this a couple times before it makes sense. So, cracked feeling in the tooth. Dear the soul of my teeth and gums, I love you. You have the ability to heal yourself. Please forgive me for anything I may have done to have brought harm or suffering to you. Please, dear all souls, please forgive me if I or my ancestors have brought harm to your teeth or gums in any way. I deeply apologize. Soul of my teeth and gums orders my teeth and gums to heal. Soul of my teeth and gums orders my teeth and gums to heal. So that's, it's the same repeat process that you apply. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, how you do it. You just keep following that pattern, okay? And I'm repeating it so that you can write it down or memorize it, whatever works better for you. So now we start to move this into the other parts of how we can apply this in our world. <clears throat> so everyone and everything has a soul. You've heard me say that in the beginning. You're starting to grasp that truth. You're starting to grasp that the divine creator is in everything. It's in the chair you're sitting on. It is serving you. What's the purpose of every soul? To serve you. Is the chair serving you? Yes, it is. How is it serving you? It's supporting you upright. It's keeping you in a place of comfort. It is receiving virtue for serving you because what makes up that chair is billions of specks of energy and matter. And so they are receiving virtue for their service. And every soul is on this path of awakening to its full consciousness. And, uh, and, and each soul is basically God experiencing God. Each soul is creator experiencing all the aspects of itself. And you are one of the aspects of our creator. Everything has a soul. Does your business have a soul? Yes. Does your finances have a soul? Yes. Does your relationships have a soul? Yes. So, if everything has a soul, which we know it does, then that means that we can use the same practice to bring balance to those areas of our life. The wisdom is there. What usually is the reason why it doesn't work is a lack of practice, okay? We, you, it's important to practice whatever you learn or you're not gonna get any results. You just come and watch me and that's all you do and you go back to your life and just do the same old thing. You know, that's the, that's the, that's the solution for insanity, doing the same old thing and expecting a different result. 
So make sure you put into practice the things that you've learned. I do my best to, to share this wisdom in such a way where you can see it coming together uh, in a balanced way where you can start to see the combination of it so you can get the most value out of that one practice. <clears throat> and so in um, working with, for example, relationships, here's how you do a soul order to transform a relationship. We start by calling the soul of the relationship. Dear the soul of the relationship between me and my spouse, between me and my brother, between me and my child A, child B, whichever it is, to the soul of, I love you. Could you please come? I wish to offer you love and blessings. So for, for, the, for many of the people that are watching, like, wait, wait a minute, I can imagine calling the soul of my mother, but you're asking me to call the soul of a relationship? I can't see it? How do I know does this thing even exist? Remember that at least in this wisdom and teachings, soul lives forever. This physical experience is temporary. And so as we go through live 100 years, die, live 100 years, die, live 100 years, die, our soul is having many, many experiences. We're only remembering this one. Those people that are in our lives three months or greater, uh, this is my own statement, three months or greater, tend to be people in the soul form that we have been around before. And we know that. We feel a great deal of love for them or a great deal of anger towards them. That means we've done this before. And sometimes we don't even know why. And um, that means that we have a relationship. So when I call forth a relationship soul, what does that mean? It's not just a relationship between me and my spouse now. No, it's not. It's the relationship that we have had in all variations, in all forms, in all time. And that could be child uh, daughter, it could be uh, father son, it could be grandparent to grandchild, it could be any form of relationship that we've had. So when I do relationship blessing using this practice, uh, and we call the soul of that relationship, it's not a small soul. It's a very important and powerful one. So now that you understand that, then we employ a soul order. So you call the, the soul of the relationship forward, what are the steps? Love, forgiveness. And then we do, uh, you learned an additional step, if you remember. <clears throat> the additional step is calling all of the beings of light. Love, forgiveness, now call forth all the beings of light. Because more that, we co that, that come, the better, the faster the clearing. Why would you want to even do this practice? and do half of the success when you can get three quarters success because you called more, more light being souls. So now call, dear the soul of love Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddha, Krishna, Kuan Yin, uh, all angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, any of you that have a desire to serve, I love you. I'd be so grateful if you'd come at this time and bless this practice to bring balance into this relationship. Very simple takes an extra 20-30 seconds, but the power, the results could be extraordinarily different. Okay? Hi, Renee. Need to go back and watch this one. It's a good one. Okay, and so um, now we set it up. We've done, we're going to do this together. So, repeat. Dear the soul of my relationship with, to somebody. The soul of this relationship from all lifetimes with this person. I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Please, can you come at this time? Please forgive me for any of the complaining, negativity, uh, uh, any of the wrong thoughts, words, or actions that I have brought to this relationship in all time, including and especially this lifetime. I wish for our relationship to be filled with love and peace and harmony. So please, please, please forgive me. I will be doing a practice shortly to bless our relationship. Dear the soul of all souls, if I or my ancestors have had thoughts or words or actions that have harmed your relationships, please forgive me. I will do better. 
I will not gossip, I will not do things to harm other people's relationships. Please forgive me, I will do better. Right, you see where we're headed? Now, what's the next step? All the light beings. Dear God, Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddha, uh, angels, healing angels, archangels, I love you. If you wish to come at this time to offer your light, your love, your blessings, your service, I would be more than honored to have you be present. Thank you. Now we're ready to do the soul order. Okay? It would look like this. My body soul orders my heart and mind to transform my relationships with and then name the person. Repeat. My body soul orders my heart and mind to transform my relationship with. My body soul orders my heart and mind to transform my relationship with. My body soul orders my heart and mind to transform my relationship with. My body soul orders my heart and my mind to transform my relationship with. Okay, and you mentioned their name. <clears throat> and so the reason this order is written this way, because I'm reading directly from Master Shah's book, is yesterday's teachings. Yesterday's teachings was soul leads the heart, heart leads the mind, mind moves the energy in the matter. All the blockages are soul, heart, mind, energy, matter blockages. So we're giving an order from the soul to the heart to the mind to transform the energy matter blockages at the level of soul. Okay, And that teaching was very deep and, and complete yesterday. So if you didn't watch that, then make sure you go back to that podcast or yesterday's teaching on my live, my Facebook page. All right. We're going to do one more practice and then we'll do some blessings. business or finances you have finances right everybody has finances did you know your finances have a soul now you do now everybody's on the same page everybody's finances have a soul do you think that your financial soul is only from this lifetime I doubt that very many people watching this right now are multi-millionaires Okay? Most of us are struggling along, trying to get ahead, doing the best we can, right? But our finances have a soul. What does that mean? Is a financial soul is not just from this lifetime, no different than relationship. Our finances have a soul and it's related to all of our lifetimes in which we may have harmed other people's finances or brought flourishing to other people's finances. All of those dictate how fat and how happy our financial soul is. If your third eye was open, you see fat, happy Buddha laughing and throwing coins around, you have a happy, fat financial soul. If you see a soul in there that's squalor and dark and no food around and the trees are dead, you have a very unhappy financial soul. We want to love our soul of our finances. How much do you complain about your finances? Okay, I offered a snippet of that yesterday. And so we want to love our finances. We want to be grateful for that penny we find on the street and grateful for the opportunities to, whenever money comes up, find a way to be grateful. Because what that does is it fattens your financial soul. It says to the soul world, this person has gratitude. It says to the soul world and the manifestation level, I am opening my heart to receive more. That's what it says. I am opening my heart for more because I'm grateful for what I have. If you say complain, 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 and complain, 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 then what are you going to receive? Do you think you're going to get more? It's unlikely. So our soul, of our finances have a soul. So we can connect to them. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. That is the soul order. But before we do that, we connect. Dear the soul of my finances, I love you. I have been very, very unpleasant towards you because I have not been aware that you are a soul. I have not been aware 
that my negative thoughts, words, or actions could bring harm to you. I know now that every soul serves a purpose, and that is to serve. And you have been trying to serve me, but I have not been honoring you in the highest and best way possible. I ask for your forgiveness. Please forgive me. Dear the soul, uh, my finances, you have the ability to transform yourself. Do a great job. Thank you. Now, uh, we ask forgiveness for bringing sufferings to others. Dear all souls in all time, I know that I have been suffering financially, so it's very clear to me that I or my ancestors may have made some very unpleasant choices in the past and brought suffering to others. Please forgive me. I deeply and sincerely apologize. I know that to apologize is not enough, but I need to go out and serve more to help people be happier and healthier and to change my thinking. But I'm very grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. This is an example, okay? What do we do just before we start the practice? We invite all the beings of light. Dear God, dear the Source, dear uh, Jesus, Buddha, Lama, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Angels, Healing Angels, if any of you wish to come at this time, dear the Soul of Money Buddha, any of you wish to come and offer your blessings at this time, I would be most grateful and appreciative. Thank you. And then you chant. Repeat with me. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. Soul of my finances orders my finances to transform. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. And so this was the teaching today on soul orders. Three to five minutes, each time minimum. You can do this consistently uh, with any blockage area. Soul of my business orders my business to transform. Whatever area you'd like. Remember the three steps, love, forgiveness, both sides forgiveness, uh, forgiveness uh, and light beings calling forth the outside souls and then the soul order okay never offer a soul order to anything outside of yourself only yourself all right I will offer you all now a blessing for a request of your choice I will use the power that's in this book with Master Shah's original symbol in here he has already downloaded extraordinary power to his books to his images uh, and to this um, book itself. I will ask that to offer you a blessing along with my song. So make a request at this time for what you would like. And this can be silent or out loud. For this area of your request, let's do a quick forgiveness practice. Dear the soul of this area of request, I love you. I deeply appreciate your service to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please forgive me for any complaining I've done about you in all time. I'm very grateful for your service. Dear all souls, if I have harmed you, in this area, choose the area of request. If I have ever brought harm to you, if I have spoken wrong thoughts or words or actions, I deeply and sincerely apologize. I am most humbly grateful for the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Thank you. Dear all beings of light, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifu saints, I love you. I would be most honored to receive your blessings today for this request, as appropriate. And since we're going to ask Master Shah, uh, his book, Dear Master Shah's book, and the blessings he has put in this book. Dear Master, Master Paul's blessing, I love you. Could you please offer a blessing to me for my request? I am very grateful. Thank you. Okay. Blessing, start. Hey. 
Heya 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 he ya ya yo Heya 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 ya yo ya ya he heya ya 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 he yo heya 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 ya he ya he ya 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 yo ya he ya he ya he ya he ya he yo ya 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 he ya la 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 ya he ya yo he ya ya yo he ya he ya he ya he ya ya he he ya he ya he yo ya he好，好，好。Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All the beings of light who have come, divine Tao Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you for all the souls that have offered their unconditional service here today, and thank you, Master Shah, for this wisdom of soul power. And for those that missed it, the book is called *The Power of Soul*. Highly recommend you get it.、Um, for those that are interested in individual services, they like to transform their pain, their emotional blockage, their soulmate blockage, any form of suffering that you might have. If you just want it to be done with a lot faster. Contact me. I have skills. I have abilities to help you move through these areas much, much faster than you can probably accomplish on your own. You can reach me through my Facebook page. You can reach me through my website. Uh, uh, my phone number is eight zero eight four six nine sixty one ninety nine, and my email is a soul healer at yahoo dot com. I look forward to serving you. I will be here tomorrow. I will allow heaven to guide me on the the service, the wisdom. Uh, please uh, sign up for my podcast, and if you're new and you'd like to know when I go live,、uh, hit the subscribe button that shows up at the end when I hit finish. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. Bye bye, everybody. See you tomorrow.